gentlemen, this is Jim Daniel along with Quentin Poe. We're in Memorial Stadium in Big Springs, Texas for the game between the Mule Shoe Mules and the Breckenridge Buckaroos. This is the area round, and it is a good night for football down here. Uh, when we left, the wind was kind of high in Mule Shoe. Uh, get down here, uh, the temperatures are a little bit warmer, the wind is a little bit less. And uh, just a really good night for football. So we hope that's a good omen for the mules tonight. Uh, to tell you a little bit about, everybody knows the mules were uh, district champions, uh, five and zero district record, ten and one overall. Uh, the Breckenridge Buckaroos, they are seven and four, and. They come up with losses to uh, Cisco, uh, and as everybody knows what Sweetwater has, they lost to Sweetwater. Uh, they also lost to Eastland, and then their last loss came on uh, October the 9th when they uh, played Brock, and of course uh, Brock was the district winner, uh, or the winner of that district, and uh, Breckenridge came in second. So uh, they didn't lose that one to the district winner, but by three points, the score was 20 to 17. And the anyway, why uh, it should be a good game. They look at them down on the field and everything like that, why they have a uh, good size. Uh, they... Uh, are a team that runs the ball uh kind of maybe like little field just a little bit they will run the ball and run the ball until they uh need to pass and then they will pass so it's the 10 and 1 mule shoe mules against the 7 and 4 breckenridge buckaroo he advances on the ball and it's a high kick down to number one that's lonnie henson Henson running, and he's tackled hard on the 30-yard uh, line. Number. Cade Cornett brings him up. Handoff to the big fullback, and he is met by a whole host of mules. In there, that is Dagan Dunham. Uh, also, number 55, Donovan Gutierrez is in on the tackle. Pitch out around the right end. He's across the 40. He's the 45, 50. He's at the 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Breckenridge Buckaroos. That was number nine, Quentin Ellis. He came around the right end and all the way to the end zone. The kick is up, and it is good. So with 10.33 remaining, the score is Breckenridge Buckaroos 7, Mule Shoe Mules coming up. We'll be back. So here we go, fourth down for the Mules. Look to the sideline for the play. All right, we've got where we're going. Evan Pye's in the backfield. And Danny looking to pass. He rolls out to the right. He fires into the end zone, and it's knocked away. Almost caught there by 44 Dagan Dunham on the ricochet, but the Buckaroos hold. Oh, the ball is pitched out. It goes into the end zone, and it is a safety. Muleshoe. Muleshoe catches a safety. It was a pitch out. The receiver lost hold of the ball, knocked it back into the end zone, and they were fighting for the ball, and Muleshoe comes out on top in the end zone of the Buckaroos, so it is a safety. So with 7-17 to play, it is now 7-2 in favor of Breckenridge. We'll be back. Looking over to the sideline. Gav the play. Fourth down and goal for the Mules. Danny back to pass. 
Here's the ball all the way down, and it's intercepted. He's back to the 20, the 25. He's still on his feet. He cuts back across the field. He's across the 30, 35. He's across the 40. He's across the 50. Finally brought down. By number 10, Danny Campos, all the way back. Ball intercepted and brought back all the way to about the 37-yard line. Cornette calls his own number. He's around the right side. He's all the way down to about the 30-yard line. All right, Cornett. Here goes number nine. Number nine. That's Quentin Ellis. And a half of the mule shoe mules bring him down. A cornet. He calls his own number behind his big fullback. All right, we're back to play. Here goes a pitch out. He's caught in the backfield. The ball is fumbled by day. The ball is still on the ground. There's a fight for it. And we'll see who they call. And it belongs to the Mules. All right, fourth and ten for the Mules. Danny Campo, seven pies in the backfield. Danny gets off a kick, hits and rolls to about the 47-yard line of Breckenridge. So it will be first and ten for the Breckenridge Buckaroos from their own 47-yard line. Four minutes, three seconds left to play in the first half. Muleshoe couldn't take advantage of the fumble recovery, so the ball goes to Breckenridge on the punt. Here goes Cornette up the middle, calls his own number. He's down to about the Muleshoe 47-yard line. Here's Cornette again. Cornette's across the 40. He carries them all the way down to the 35-yard line of Mule Shoe. All right, first and 10, Breckenridge. Cornette again. Cornette, pitch out, round the left. And Javi Perez catches him there along with Boo Flores. Flag on the play. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry, man. Cornet, he calls his own number again. Gets down to about the 10-yard line. And off, and he's caught in the backfield by number 54, Cameron Hardwick. So it brings up third down and five. Here we go around the left. Down to about the seven-yard line. Dominic Hazley. Back Aaron to play. Off. With 59 seconds left to play in the first half, it is fourth down. For the Buckaroos, the ball on the Mule Shoe seven-yard line. Fourth down. Here goes Cornette. And we'll see if he gets the first down. They're giving it to them, so it is first and goal for the Buckaroos on their on the five yard line. And there goes Carnett, the ball carrier, up the middle into the end zone for a Breckenridge touchdown. So, with 44 seconds left to play in the first half, the score now 13 to two, two in favor of the Breck. Ridge Buckaroos. Extra point try coming up. 
All right, Breckenridge, the ball on the two-yard line. They go up to try for two points. And here goes. We'll see. And it is no good for the second try. It is no good. So, with 44 seconds left to play in the first half, the score remains Breckenridge 13, Mule Shoe 2. We'll be back. This Palacios is a running back, but he's also a pretty good little kicker. The ball is high, high, and there comes down to Jason Flores. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way up to the Mule Shoe 30-yard line. Pass over to the left. Caught by number 12, Aaron Ross. He's finally wrestled down. All right, back to play. Here we go. Danny Campos. He's looking. And there, Evan Pies up the front, and he's down to the 47-yard line of breaking. The clock starts again. They moved it there. Danny looking to pass. Here's a long pass. Intended for Aaron Ross, and it falls incomplete. Five seconds left to play. Okay, we're going back. There was a penalty on the play. First and ten for the Mules. The ball on. About the 34-yard line, Danny Compost back to pass. Danny's looking. He fires the ball way down to the field. And it is caught. Mule Chew, touchdown. Who caught that? Jason. Jason Flores. The guy moved over. He thought he was going to intercept the ball, and Jason went up and took it away for a touchdown for the Mule Shoe Mules. So, with no time left on the clock, the extra point try coming up 13 to 8 in favor of the Buckaroos. We have a timeout, Mule Shoe. All right, here we go. Danny calls the signals. And off to Evan Pies up the middle. He stretches it, and the ball is fumbled into the end zone, and it is no good. And at the end of the first half, the score, Breckenridge Buckaroos 13, the Mule Shoe Mules 8. We'll see you for the second half. Coronet, the quarterback. Coronet calls his own number. He's past the 30 to the 45 to about the 47-yard line of Breckenridge. Again, Cornette calls his own number. He's past the 50 all the way down to about the Mule Shoe 42-yard line. Cornette pitched to number five around the right side. He's got some speed past the 40, past the 30. Run out of bounds at about the 24-yard line of Mule Shoe. Eight minutes, 46 seconds left to play in the third quarter. There goes a run up the middle. It's to number five, Jordan McDonald. Touchdown, Breckenridge Buckaroos. Eight minutes, 41 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Score 19 for Breckenridge, eight for Muleshoe. Extra point try coming up. Looks like they might go for two. Palacios comes in, and they're going to kick. Ball is back, down. Kick is up, and it is good. So with 8.41 left to play in the third, the score, Breckenridge Buckaroos 20, Mule Shoe Mules 8. We'll be Trevia. back. Antonio Vasquez back deep. The ball is up, and it's caught by Aaron Ross. He's across the 25. Across the 30, across the 35, brought down by a whole host of buckaroos at about the 36-yard line. 
And here goes Pepe Mendoza. Here you go. He breaks into the clear. Come on, Pepe. Come on, Pepe. He's all the way down to the, we'll call it the 16 to 17 yard line. Hard run by Pepe Mendoza. Evan Pies back in the backfield along with Danny Campos. And here's a reverse to Trey Villa around the right side. Trey is hit hard as he reaches about the 19-yard line. Second down and seven for the Mules. Danny calls his own number. Oh, and if it hadn't been for a trip, he would have been a whole lot farther than he was. Danny back to pass. And the ball is overthrown, intended for number 30, Bryce Mauricio. And we have dirty laundry on the field. I believe this is going against the Buckaroos. Danny Campos. Here's Evan Pies up the middle. Pies hard running down to almost the five-yard line. Danny barks the signals. He's looking to pass. Here it is into Dagan Dunham, and the ball is knocked away. All right, fourth down for the Mules, fourth down from the six-yard line. Danny looking to pass. He's look, here he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Dagan Dunham. Touchdown for the Mule Shoe Mules. 5-26 left to play in the third quarter. The score now 20-14 with the extra point try to come. Bryce Mauricio in the kick to make this a five-point ball game. The ball is down. The kick is up, and it is good. So with 526 left to play in the third, the score now, Breckenridge Buckaroos 20, Mules U Mules 15. Oh, we'll 14. Be Danny gets the ball away on a little pooch punt there. The ball is rolling past the 15. I believe it's touched by, looks like it might have been touched by one of the buckaroos. Muleshoe picks it up. And it was, the ball goes over to Muleshoe. Pepe Mendoza, Danny Campos in the backfield. It's first and goal. Touchdown, Mules, you Mules. Tony? Yeah. Tony Castillo on the receiving end of the touchdown. Ten yards. Ten yards. Oh, sorry. Ten-yard touchdown pass from Danny Campos to Tony Castillo. So with 134 to play in the third quarter, Muleshoe takes the lead for the first time tonight, 21 to 20, with an extra point to come. And here's a pass for the extra point, and intended for Aaron Ross, incomplete. But there's a flag on the play. All right. Muleshoe lines up for two for the extra point. Danny calls the signals. He's looking to throw, and it's incomplete in the end zone. Intended for number 30, Bryce Mauricio. So with 134 left to play in the third quarter, the score now, Muleshoe Mules 21. The Breckenridge Buckaroos 20 will be back. Cornet. And there goes the ball. The ball is loose. Picked up by Muleshoe. Tony Castillo grabs the fumble. And the ball goes over to the Muleshoe Mules. Danny Campos. Evan Pies in the backfield. Looking to the sideline for the play. Danny's got the ball. He's looking to pass. Ball far down the field, and it is caught. 
That is Bryce Mauricio. Bryce Mauricio catches the receiver of the long pass from Danny Campos. Way down the field to about the Breckenridge 20 yard, 21 yard line. First and 10 for the Mules. Beautiful pass from Danny Campos to Bryce Mauricio. About a 39-yarder. So, first and 10 for the Mules. Danny Campos, Evan Pias in the backfield. Danny, he's looking to throw again. The ball is caught. Aaron Ross all the way down to the 10-yard ball, And they do. Danny looking to pass. And the ball is knocked away, intended for 20, Pepe Mendoza. But the ball is knocked away at the last second. That ball will go over on downs to the Buckaroos. Bridge quickly to the line. Cornet. Good, Connor. Huh? I said good, Connor. Connor do that? Yeah. Connor Harrison catches him up, and there was a fumble on the play. And the ball goes over to the Mules. Connor Harrison in there. Excellent play by Connor Harrison. Stuffed the middle up. Number seven tried to go through again, Coronet, and he was brought back by number 73, Connor Harrison. So, Muleshoe has the ball. Again, on their own 13, on the Breckenridge 13-yard line. The first, here's a snap to Pepe Mendoza. He's up the middle, down to about the 12-yard line. Danny Campos back in the game at quarterback. Evan Pies. Evan Pies up. He's across the five. All the way down, looks like, maybe to the three. Dagan Dunham takes the ball. He's up the middle. Touchdown, Mule Shoe Mules. Dagan Dunham. On about a four-yard run. So with 5.33 left to play in the fourth quarter, the Mules take the lead. 27-20, extra point coming up. Bryce Mauricio in to do the kicking on this extra point. The ball is back, down. The kick is up, and it is good. So, with 5.33 left to play in the ball game, Muleshoe 28, Breckenridge 20, we'll be back. Brings up second down. He's looking to pass. And the ball is caught out to a 35-yard line. Brought down by Pepe Mendoza and Aaron Ross from their own 36-yard line. Here's a pitch out. The ball's on the ground. It looks like Muleshoe might have gotten it again. And they did. And they did. For Muleshoe has kind of stepped up in this fourth quarter. Danny Campos calls his own number. He's across the 25. He's across the 20. Looks like down to about the 19-yard line. Got the play. And here's Pepe up the middle. Pepe is still on his feet past the 15. Down to about the Muleshoe needs this first down pretty bad. All right, here we go. Danny Campo. And it looks to me like there's a flag on the play. And it was Breckenridge offsides really bad. Moves the ball all the way down to the Breckenridge five-yard line. First and ten for the Mules. One minute, two seconds left to play in the ball game. Muleshoe 28, Breckenridge 20. Muleshoe on the three-yard line of Breckenridge, and we're going to try a field goal with Bryce Mauricio. The ball is down, the kick is up, and it is good! Bryce Mauricio splits the uprights. 
with 58 seconds left to play in the ball game. The score now, Muleshoe 31, Breckenridge 20. We'll be back. The score this play. Kay Henson goes in motion. Cornette looking to play. He's being rushed and he's brought down at about the 39-yard line. And that is the ball game. That's the ball game. You're looking at the area champion, Mule Shoe Mules. The final score, the Mule Shoe Mules, 31. The Breckenridge Buckaroos, 20. We'll be back for the wrap-up show in just a little bit. We're back for the wrap-up show here at Memorial Stadium in Big Spring, Texas. Again, this is Jim Daniel along with Quentin Poe, and we just witnessed a heck of a ball game between the Mule Chew Mules and the Breckenridge Buckaroos. And if you don't know by now, I'm going to tell you, the Mule Chew Mules are hosting the area trophy out in the middle of the field, and we are the area champions with a 31-20 victory over the Breckenridge Buckaroos, which I guess you could say was a little revenge from last year. After being beaten in the area round by Breckenridge, while well, we turned the tide and did, uh, uh, we brought it home with us this year. This was a hard fought ball game, and all I can say is uh, Breckenridge is a pretty tough team, especially on defense. Uh, they ran the ball. Uh, most of the time, they only kind of pass, which we thought they would do, uh, run the ball and then pass when they had to, uh, except at the last part of the game. But it was a hard-fought ball game all the way around. Hats off to them. They really, they really uh, are a good team, and especially uh, defensively, they are tough. But again, the Mules came out in the second half and uh, played their hearts out. And with that comes the area golden football. Well, I tell you what, uh, we're all just ecstatic and everything for the mules. I'm going to turn it over to my partner. He's chomping at the bit over here. So here to tell you the stats and everything, and Mr. Quentin Poe. Well, thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. Uh, like we said, just a, a really good ball game <clears throat> on both sides. Breckenridge, give them credit. They played a great game, um, really strong defensively as well as offensively. Could run it uh, really well, move the ball down the field and really take up the clock. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll start with their their stats tonight. They, like I said, a big running attack, uh, ran for 265 yards tonight. Their quarterback, um, Cade Cornett, uh, he had 23 carries for 103 yards tonight, uh, really carried the bulk of their offense. He uh, several times, you know, we had um, the fullback. Uh, they kind of ran a, a wishbone type deal where uh, the fullback would come and he'd kind of put it in his belly. And then uh, once we'd wrapped up that fullback, he'd pull it out and and kind of scamper out for six, seven, eight, nine, ten yards um, there. And and he did a really really nice job of kind of just managing that offense of running the ball, getting some hard yards on the ground. And uh, so I give him credit. Um, I think he's, I think he's a senior, uh, so we wish him, wish him the best of luck, in uh, in his future endeavors. Uh, maybe go uh, go play for Eastern or something. Run run their uh, their offensive uh, running attack that they got over there. But uh, really nice job by Cade and uh, give them credit. He passed for uh, 80 yards as well on the night. Um, I think the the big turnaround for for the Mules tonight was. Uh, the four fumbles uh, that they lost, uh, Breckenridge lost um, in the fourth quarter. I mean, or in the in the second half, excuse me. And uh, really, just kind of unbelievable deal. Uh, There's a couple of times where we we kind of forced it. We forced it out. Uh, Connor Harrison popped one out um, in the fourth quarter that uh, was a big momentum changer for us. And then just a couple of uh, kind of miss uh, miss reads on a pitch out. Um, to some of their kind of scat back running backs um, that just fell on the ground and, and the mules just happened to 
happened to kind of fall on it, uh, which was good uh, for us. So we we took away four fumbles tonight, which is which is huge momentum changer for us and uh, really really nice job. So a total of 345 yards for the Breckenridge Buckaroos tonight, and um, we'll start with or we'll go go to the Mule Shoe side of the ball uh, this evening. Uh, Danny was uh, 22 of 38 for uh, 293. He did throw one interception. Um, <clears throat> really, uh, really did a nice job. Uh, he he had pressure on him all night. Um, so not not a a, a spectacular uh, a night um, for him, especially uh, with some of the numbers he's put up in the past. But uh, did do a, a great job of kind of sticking in there and making some 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 tough throws when he had to do that. And then out on the run as well, um, <clears throat> trying to get away from some from some of those uh, really quick, uh, big uh, defensive uh, buckaroos that that they faced tonight. So uh, three for two hundred ninety three. Did have one reception. Um, we ran for one hundred fifteen tonight. Um, Evan had twelve carries for thirty five, and then uh, Pepe stepped in there and got some good yards. Uh, he had five carries for 55 yards tonight, and then several other mules uh, had carried the ball for uh, a couple of yards. Um, some nice gains that that kind of helped us move the ball down the flo- field. Um, we'll uh, we'll kind of highlight uh, Dagan's Dagan's performance tonight. Um, did a really good job on defense as as usual per usual, but he also had a touchdown receiving, and then he had a. I don't even know what we call it. Um, just kind of his his uh, little quarterback um, sneak type deal, where he just kind of motions over uh, behind the center and and gets in behind the center and takes the ball and you know, almost like a quarterback sneak. But obviously he's not the quarterback. Um, plays quarterback in that role, I suppose. And uh, so he had a, a rushing touchdown in that, and then uh, he also had a, a late fourth quarter um, kind of just uh, make him jump. Um, with, with that same play so uh great job by Dagan great job by the offensive line um really a nice hard fought uh ball game here for a win um in this area area playoff game ber- versus the uh <clears throat> Breckenridge Buckaroos uh Mules take this one 31 to 20 and uh, look to face shallow water uh next week uh, not sure uh time location on that but um Maybe maybe level land is what we're hearing, so uh, we'll we'll kind of play that by year. But uh, again, it's just a great, uh, enjoyable experience for Jim and I to bring bring the game to you every week, and uh, we we appreciate you guys being with us. Jim, any last remarks? I just want to say, Quentin, I hope everybody has as much fun listening to this as you and I do bringing it to them. Uh, it is a blast uh, to be here. We enjoy it so much and everything, and. Uh, like I say, if you can't be here, why tune in, tune in, old Gil Robert, I promise you we'll bring it to you. And so for Quentin Poe, this is Jim Daniel saying we'll see you next week somewhere down the line.